looking to build on yesterday's 70 to 56 win over Colombia. They were made to work hard for it, but got the job done. A strong second half showing led by Tommy Boomer getting them over the line. Morocco, safe to say they emerge as the underdogs in this Repcharge tournament, representing the Africa zones. They secured their spot here at this Repcharge tournament by claiming victory in the African Championship. Their last appearance on the world stage in 2018 at the World Championships and looking to make it to Paris. For now, though, we will turn to the national anthems of these two great nations. As both teams shake hands and we prepare to get this game underway here at the Azura Arena. It's a big welcome to you all wherever you are across the world joining us on the IWBF YouTube channel. Get your comments in, let us know who you're supporting, where you are in the globe. As we prepare for the Germany and Morocco momentarily, a big smattering of Moroccan fans here in attendance today as well as Germany supporters there's a heavy Moroccan contingent that make a living here in the south of France and well represented here today the two teams starting with Germany and of course Tommy Boomer the number 13 a big performance for him yesterday in the win over Colombia and 14 Alex Holowski off the bench one of the stronger players off the bench in this Repcharge tournament. No doubt those two players will be heavily on the Morocco scouting report. And the main playmaker, the number five, Nico Theraimula as well. Matthias Gunter, Guntner, number six, a presence inside yesterday as well. They'll be starting off with Nico Dreimola, Madas Gunzner, Lukas Glosner, Tommy Boomer and Alex. 
That's Germany's starting five. And from Morocco, representing the Africas. A tough loss yesterday in the opening game of this Repcharge tournament to Italy. Zoua Shalat, the number four, doing the bulk of the scoring. But there are weapons, there are strong offensive juggernauts that will look to give Germany a game today. Should be an intriguing encounter. Zuhair Shalat, Mohamed Aloui, the number eight, Bill Haman Lachab, Rida Matsui, and Aysa Filimpe starting five for Morocco. A number of these Moroccan players ply their trade all around Europe. As said, their last appearance on the world stage was in Hamburg in 2018 at the World Championships. And they certainly bring a blend of international experience. And if you are familiar with the European wheelchair basketball scene, you'll be familiar with a lot of the names playing in today's game as they receive last minute instructions. Our referees today, Gian Ging, Matthias Quintana and Patricia Calabrero. And our commissioner, Jovana Milonovic. Nearly game time then here at the wonderful Azure Arena in Antibes. Following on from this final game of the day, tipping off at six o'clock local time, the hosts France take on Canada. But now it's Germany against Morocco. Great to see a few Germany fans on the YouTube feed. Let us know where you're watching from. Any particular favorite play you have? As we get this game underway here in Antibes. And the first possession goes to Germany with Dreimuller. Guntner. Gunzner from the foul line gets the friendly roll. First score of the game for the first possession for Germany. Zuer Shalat, a lot of the offense will run through him today. Filimpe. Filimpe goes glass. Doesn't get that friendly roll there. Draimula. Draimula, low pass. Gets the ball back from Boomer, Glossner, back to Boomer. Boomer, all the time in the world to put up a floater and gets it to go. Just like it uh, was yesterday against Colombia, the Boomer and Gunzner show. Shalat. Olini. And he misses the baseline attempt. And away comes Germany again, up four to nothing. Dreimuller. Shalat for company. Buda. Alex Buda, nice move from Alex Buda. And a quick 6-0 start for Germany. The shot there from Matui is no good. Germany certainly mean business here in the early going. Buda, nice feed from Boomer, and it's an 8-0 start for Germany. Morocco yet to get out the blocks here. Shalak. Shalat couldn't hang on to the pass. Matui has it and agonizingly just drops out. He was thinking about it there for a minute. But the lid decided to close on the basket. Boomer. 
Buma, risky pass. I think he was looking for Dreimuller, instead finds Buddha and... That would have been interesting if that went in. Either way, what a start for Germany here. Leading 8-0. As Morocco call a quick timeout. So as we know, already qualified for the Paris Paralympics. USA, Great Britain, Spain and Australia. Four spots remain in this inaugural Repchage tournament. As we hit the road for Paris in the summer in what will be an unforgettable Olympics and Paralympics event. Wheelchair basketball without question amongst the most popular of the Paralympic sports, the most attended. And will take its rightful place in the Bercy district of Paris in the summer. Ain't nothing to start for Germany. Morocco yet to get out the blocks. Shalat. Shalat hasn't even taken a field goal yet. Filimpe. Filimpe seven to shoot for Morocco. Filimpe thinks about it, short with his shot from the wing, and Germany have the ball back. Buma. Buma allowed to roam along the paint. Dreimuller has it. Eight to shoot for Germany. Glossner got to get busy here. Buma all the time in the world strings along too. 10 and 0 for Germany. Morocco yet to trouble the scorers. Six forty one remaining in the first. Olini passes to Shalat. Shalat with one hand finally breaks the duck for Morocco and in quite some fashion as well. That was pretty from Zue Shalat. Draimola. Draimola. Reset. Gunzner inside gets it to go. There is Shalat again. Trying to put the moves on Lukas Glosner. That goes wayward. Germany get the ball back up 12 to 2 early in this first quarter. Just entering the halfway point of the first quarter. Dreimuller. Dreimuller gets it back from Alex Buda. Eight to shoot for Germany, and a foul has been called. That'll be two shots for Alex Buda. Uh, the great European Championships in Rotterdam, Alex Buda. Obviously Germany narrowly missing out on the bronze medal. Lost out to the Netherlands in that game, the host nation. They lost in the semi-final to the eventual winners, Great Britain. Buda, uh, an accomplished junior 
national team player as well, misses the second. Shalat. All business, Zouer Shalat. Morocco, though, with one field goal in this first quarter. 5.08 remaining in the first. That's their second field goal. Shot there is good from Rida Matioi. Draimula. Buddha. Buddha, a high arcing shot. That's a high degree of difficulty. And he gets it to fall. Bit of sunshine on that shot. Shalat stolen away by Glosna. Albrecht into the game for the first time. Buda, everything going Germany's way here in this first period. Leading by 11. Right now, Morocco can't even get out of first gear as Albrecht can't reach the pass by Buda. As a group substitution about to come in for Germany, Jan Haller, Alex Haluski. Tommy Boomer returns alongside Tobias Hell. Great to see so many people contributing on the comments on the YouTube channel and also get involved on all social media platforms. Use the hashtag last chance for Paris and this is last chance saloon for these remaining eight teams here in Antibes. As Olini has it. Shalat. Matioi. Matioi, a two. Good stuff. Morocco now finding a little bit of rhythm, but still trail big here with 3.43 remaining. Hala. Jan Hala, the bounce pass to Jens Eike Albrecht. And his three throw line shot is no good. Shalat has it. Fifteen to six for Germany. Shalat a three. That's short. Three for five yesterday. Zuer Shalat from downtown against Italy misses his first attempt. Nice pass inside from Boomer and the finish from Albrecht. Matui, Shalat has a little bit of room, decides to go closer to the hoop, over Halowski. Good defense, better offense. And despite trailing, Morocco have some life here. They started off poorly, it was a quick 10-0 run, but they have fought back and have outscored Germany in the last three minutes. Have eight points on the board. Germany still leads 17 to eight, still in firm control, but not a good spell for coach Michael Engel and his team. Of course, this is the first major international tournament for Germany under Michael Engel's leadership. Germany coming onto the court. There is Alex Halowski. You might see on his right hand, it's heavily taped. Suffered a hand injury sustained in a Champions Cup quarter-final game while playing for the Thuringia Bulls. But determined to represent his national team and send them to Paris. And here he is on the ball. Halowski, Jan Hala. Jan Hala looking for room, finds Halowski, but the pass was deflected. Halowski gets it at the second attempt and knocks it down. Mm -hmm. 
Al Musati. Here it is Olini. Olini off the back iron. Halowski with the rebound. Alblik. Entering the final two minutes of the first. Alblik does well to get into the key and under the basket and lays it up and in. Matui reached and Albrecht teached. And a traveling violation on Mohamed Olini. And Germany will get the ball back with 148 remaining. They're up 21 away. Halowski has a bit of room. No hesitation, Alex Halowski. Everything going Germany's way as we have a slight issue with Rida Matui's chair. He's just sorting it out. Just big shout out and a big thanks to our partners, the organizers IWBF and Handy Sport and the official partners EDF, Moulton, Tissot and the manufacturers for these wheelchairs, RGK. Sholat. Sholat allowed to run the paint. There is Buma. Buma still has it. Jan Haller screaming for it. Buddha gets it instead. And Buddha now moves on to nine. Shalat. Shalat has room, puts up a three in and out. Hala bats it away from Shalat, and a whistle has gone as Halowski was about to break in transition. And now... al Hasawi with an issue with his chair. Moksar al Hashawi. Halowski a three. That's short. Here is Hala. Final 30 seconds of the first. Boomer, favorite spot, and that's why. <laughs> 27 to eight. And under the basket and a finish, Zuer Shalat. He now moves on to six. Only two scorers for Morocco at the moment. Hala has it. Jan Haller travelled with it. Uncharacteristic for the veteran Jan Haller. As we enter the final seconds here of the first quarter. And the long heave with eight tenths of a second remaining. And Jan Haller will just let the ball run, and that ends the first period where Germany take a commanding 17-point lead heading into the second period. Alex Buda leading the way with nine points. Tommy Buma has six. Matthias Gutzner has four, as does Jan Zeiker Albrecht. Zue Shalat has six to lead Morocco. And Rida Matsui has four, only two scorers, as mentioned, for Morocco. But a good first quarter for the Germans looking to go 2-0 and oh on the last chance for Paris. As we look at highlights of the first 10 minutes. 
Alex Buddha inside, two of his nine coming on that play. Tommy Boomer, who had 25.7 rebounds in yesterday's win over Colombia, has six right now. Azure Sholat, who had 19 points in the loss yesterday against Italy, has six. That was two of them there. Get set to start the second quarter here, and already we have a bit of an issue. We have an issue with the game clock and the shot clock. Eager eyed officials notice that, and finally we can now get underway for the uh, second quarter. Shalat. Shalat looking for room inside, decides to go out. Olini a three. That's off the back iron, rebounded by Gudzna. Dreimuller. Nico Dreimuller looking for options and a travelling violation called on Dreimuller. Two travels here for Germany in this game. It's uncharacteristic of them. Shalat played all 40 minutes as well yesterday against Italy. Chancari might be doing the same here today as well. Matui back to Shalat, 10 to shoot for Morocco here. Shalat with a one-handed heave, and that whacks the bottom of the backboard. And Alex Buda has it. Gunzner, Albrecht. Germany methodical in their offensive set. Gunzner at the foul line, one of his favorite positions to shoot. Scoops the offensive rebound off his own miss. Albrecht has it, back to Gunzner. Gunzner looking to go glass to great effect. 29 to 10 in favor of Germany as a foul has been called as Shalat was driving to the hoop. Despite trailing the Moroccan fans in fantastic voice here at the Azure Arena. And they are bringing the drums with them as well. They were late getting in. Arriving in the uh, second quarter. Well, better late than never, I guess. They are here, though, and they are making some noise here in Antibes. Great to see. Germany up 19 in the early stages of this second quarter. Here is Buda. Dreimuller. Albrecht inside to Gunzner. Back to Albrecht, deflected away by Matui. Great patient build up from Germany. What they are famed for, and Buda the finish. A 21 point lead for Germany, Shalat. Matui and the foul has been called as Matui was going for the shot. And there are those Moroccan fans. They arrived a little late, but as said, better late than never. And my goodness me, they're making some Fantastic noise, making it a great atmosphere. It's been a great atmosphere for the last two days here in this five and a half thousand seat arena. Shalat. 
pressure. That's pass intended for El Masati. Goes out of bounds. It was deflected, actually, so Morocco will keep it. Five, though, on the shot clock, so Zoya's got to get busy, and Shalat misses the three, and a miscommunication there, and a shot clock violation. Morocco turn it over. Zoya Shalat, who plays his basketball here in France for Ilan Chalon. Draimula. Guntner fading away, it's short. And away comes Shalat. Shalat Mazuti misses the two under the basket, and away comes Buda in transition. And this is all Germany right now, up 33 to 10. Matui, Matui, a baseline shot. Grazes the rim and away comes Dreimula. Albrecht. Dreimula has it back. Gutzner back to Dreimula. Wide open, gets it to go. Six thirty-four remaining in the second. Shalat. Shalat looking for some daylight inside, and he is fouled. Think that's on Glosner, but we'll just double check it. And indeed, the first foul on Lucas Glosner as Mohamed Olini comes out of the game for the first time. We will see. Well, for the second time, actually, excuse me, we will see Bilal Lechab. And for the first time, we will actually see Mahmoud Bargo. As Shalak puts up a two and splashes one. <laughs> Puma. Dreimuller. Seven to shoot for Germany. Puma. The extra pass. Albrecht had to get busy. The rebound by Gunzner. Gunzner too strong. Gunzner fighting for the rebound with Schallat. And his pass finds Dreimuller. Another turnover for Morocco. And Germany reset with 5.31 remaining and a whistle has gone off the ball. So first foul on Zuer Shalat. Boomer, fresh 14 for Germany. Boomer gliding around the baseline. Great pass inside, tough finish from Jens Eicher Albrecht. 37 to 12. Albrecht now moves on to six. Alex Buda, the top man with 13. Shall out a three from the top, that misses everything. As we mentioned earlier, Shalat was three of five in the loss against Italy from downtown. Was the only Morocco player to hit those three pointers. Three of eight in total against Italy. So Shalat contributing to more than half. Dreimula. Buma collects, puts it up, knocks it down. Germany from the very start flexing their muscles here on Morocco. Who have been trailing by double digits 
since the third minute of this game. And more group substitutions coming in. Jan Haller and Alex Halowski come back into the game. Tobias Hell and Alex Budder also check in. Referee's just confirming with the table that the foul was on Jenzeika Albrecht. That was his second foul, so Morocco will get the ball near off and under the basket. They're after a slight delay. El Hashawi will go to the line for Morocco, misses the first. And El Hashawi misses both as Tobias Hell gets the rebound. Here is Jan Haller. Kuma. Boomer along the baseline, looking for help, finds it inside. Nice pass to a cutting Buddha, and Alex Buddha with the score. He's on 15. Great off-ball movement there from Germany's number 15 as Zue Shalat looks to respond in kind. Shot is up, shot is good for Mohamed Bargo. Bargo's first field goal of the day here for Morocco. Hala. Halowski. Halowski wide open. Can't give him all that room. He'll punish you all day, every day. Inside it goes for Morocco as Matui Misses under the basket, and again, Germany come away with it with Tommy Boomer. Tommy Boomer, good steal there from Matui. Off the pass intended for Halowski. And a quick timeout call by Michael Engel. He has seen enough. But despite that scrappy sequence, Germany in cruise control right now, leading 43-14 over Morocco. Great to have you all on board here on the IWBF YouTube channel. It's great to see so many comments. Let us know where you are, where you're watching, who you're supporting. A lot of Morocco fans in attendance here today and on the stream. Safe to say Morocco are the underdogs in this Rapsharge tournament, but they've got a lot of heart, a lot of desire, and will compete. And there are Germany fans here in attendance as well. A lot of Germany flags being waved along the Azure Arena. Well, they were, and then the screen went to the fans, and then they stopped. I swear they were waving them. 43-14, <laughs> 11 remaining in the second. Germany, thanks to 15 points from Alex Buda, lead Morocco 43-14. to Buda. A towering force inside for Germany here in this first half. Halowski, who was four of eight off the bench for 11 points yesterday in the win over Colombia. Hala from the baseline, and Matui gets the rebound. And very nasty uh, collision there, and as 
we see the great sportsmanship being shown there by Jan Haller. It was a hard fall there for Ben Hamam Lacheb. But he's up on his feet. Great sportsmanship from Jan Haller. And that's something about wheelchair basketball. The sportsmanship is amongst the best in all of sports. As Bargo puts in a mid-range shot. And Jan Sadler into the game for the first time, the number 11. Here is Haller, wide open from the foul line. Doesn't get it, Sadler with the rebound. Halowski just about gets the friendly roll off the feed from Jan Sadler. Jan Sadler introduced to basketball when he was seven years of age. Actually holds a degree in journalism, so our jobs might be on the line soon, I don't know. At the other end, a finish there from Mohamed Jaadi. Two oh one remaining in the half. Forty five to eighteen. Halowski, given all the time in the world to shoot, doesn't get the drop though. Bargo. Bargo wide open, decides to pass it. Almost thought he was thinking about the three point attempt. Morocco, a good three point shooting team when given the right amount of space. Shalat from the baseline. Halowski with the rebound. Sadler. Inside to Halowski. Beautiful move from Germany. El Hashui. And an offensive foul called Bargo whacking into. Jan Haller's wheelchair there, and that is an offensive foul. 1-11 remaining in the half. As Rita Matui's wheel still having some, needing some adjustments here, so there'll be a brief break in play, and there'll be a timeout called for it. RGK, the manufacturers of these wheelchairs, are here in attendance. Their workshop is next door to the uh, team's locker rooms. One eleven remaining in the half, and as the day has progressed, it's been a carnival atmosphere outside the Azure Arena. And that's typified by the Morocco fans in attendance as well. Earlier on, we saw the Netherlands beat Iran, and there was a large Dutch contingent. They were put on an absolute show at the European Championships in Rotterdam last summer. Fantastic hospitality at the inaugural European Para Championships. As many sporting disciplines took place in the Dutch city. Of course, highlighted by the European Championships of Wheelchair Basketball, won by Great Britain, beating Spain in the final. They have both secured their ticket to Paris, and now Germany want to join them as Halowski has it. Buda inside under immense pressure, but he doesn't matter. Final 40 seconds of the half. Bargo. Bargo thinking about the three, now puts it up. Agonizingly short, it was thinking about it. As Jan Sadler collected the rebound and was quickly fouled. Jan Sadler 
a dream of reaching the Paris Paralympics, but not just to qualify for Paris, but to finish in at least the top five and have a goal of getting to the podium. They have a chance here. They're 1-0 at the moment, looking to make it 2-0 here today. Halowski, final 20 seconds of the half. Halla has it, 10 to shoot for Germany. Halowski, catch and shoot, splash. Final seconds of the half as Zuer Shalat looking for help and throws it straight out of bounds. And that will do the first half of action. It's been all Germany here at the Azure Arena. They lead 51 to 18. As Alex Buda has 17 points. Alex Halowski off the bench has 12. Zuer Shalat has eight to lead Morocco. But the champions of Africa finding the going tough here in the south of France as they trail big here, 51 to 18. As we look at the highlights of the first half here of this clash, and Morocco got some good looks, especially in the second quarter. It took a while for them to get going. They trailed by 10 within the first six or seven possessions, but found their rhythm towards the end of the first, but Germany have kept going, kept plugging away, and as a result, lead big here at the half. We'll leave you with some of the highlights from the first half. We'll be back in roughly 11 minutes time. Don't go anywhere on the IWBF YouTube channel. Stick around.
along the French, French Riviera. And right now, Germany having their way against Morocco. They lead 51 to 18 as we prepare for the third quarter here on the IWBF YouTube channel. Great to have you all on board wherever you are across the globe. John Hobbs on hand to guide you through the events of the Third and fourth quarter here, and right now Germany in firm control, 69% from the field in the first half for the Germans. They have only not connected on 11 of their 36 field goal attempts. Morocco, unfortunately for them, not faring too well. Nine of 29, 31%, zero for seven from downtown, Zouer Shalat, perhaps not surprisingly, leading the way for the African Giants with eight points. But Morocco with it all to do here in the third quarter. Here in picturesque Antibes, France, sandwiched between Nice and Cannes. Germany looking to improve to 2 and 0. Oh.
in their group. It's two groups of four. Group A comprising of Canada, the Netherlands, Iran and France. And Group B, Colombia, Germany, Morocco and Italy. As we start the third period, Halowski starts the third quarter and he's on the ball, puts it up. And that's short. As we mentioned earlier, Alex Halowski was questionable for this uh, rep charge tournament. He's got his right hand heavily taped and protected. He suffered a hand injury in the Champions Cup quarterfinals. Shalat. Shalat with the long shot, no good. Glossner was going to get the rebound, but fumbled it. Here is Bargo. Bargo. To Matui, Matui misses the shot under the basket. Halowski skies for the rebound. Halowski has four rebounds to go with 12 points on six of nine from the field. As a foul has been called on... It's on Zoué Shalat, that's his second foul of the day following on from this game. The host nation, France, taking on Canada. That is scheduled to tip off at six o'clock local time as Buddha misses the two under the basket. Canada, select members of the uh, Canada team arrived at half time. Only one player actually remained in the arena pretty much throughout the entire day, and that was Blaise Matoire. And now his teammates joining him and looking on at this game. They will take on the host nation, France, at the conclusion of this game. Halowski. And Halowski with a free reign to the basket. Too easy, Alex Halowski in transition. Tommy Boomer making a contribution to that as well as Shalat looks to answer for Morocco. And a foul away from the ball. And just checking to see who that'll be on. It'll be on Halowski, that's his first foul. Early doors in the third period. 15, 53 to 18 in favor of Germany, who finished fourth in the European Championships in Rotterdam in the summer. Of course, Morocco, the IWF Africa champions. Matui misses the two from the wing. Halowski gets the board. Here is Gunzner. Gunzner, that's too easy, but he's too strong. Gets his own rebound and puts it in. That was a mismatch between him and Ben Hamam Lechab. Shalat. A lot of the offense going through the number four, a lot of the offensive firepower going through the number four, Felipe. Gets it to go from the foul line. He can put up big points as well. The veteran, the number 14. Halowski. Halowski looking for room. No, look past the Gunsner. That was pretty. And Manus Gunsner says Danke schön. As Alex Halowski with the fancy assist. Shalat. Felipe. Felipe puts up the baseline shot, no good. And away come Germany again with Buma. Boomer looking for options, finds it in Gunzner. Gunzner, no good. Good defense.
from Felipe, and two shots go to Germany as Isa Felipe protesting his innocence. The elder statesman, the oldest player in this Repcharge tournament, the Morocco number 14, 49 years of age, and still competing hard. Great to see. Has been around the block for a fair few years. Asa Felipe. And still contributes as well. 10 points, 8 rebounds, 41% shooting yesterday against Italy. Nice feed inside, and here is Felipe. Malowski for company. Matui over two Germany defenders. And that comes off Shalat's back, and Felipe says thank you very much. Uh, as a foul has been called. I don't know if that's on either Halowski or Tobias Hell. It's on Halowski. That's no, foul number two for Alex Halowski. Originally from Minsk. In Belarus, here is. Well, Shalat's pass intended for Rida Matui, but it goes straight out of bounds. Matui, who also, alongside Shalat, also plays his basketball here in this country for Fran in France, playing for Le Canet. Albrecht into the game for Germany and on the ball. Inside to Gunzner. Gunzner had to muscle his way in under the basket over two Morocco players and an offensive foul has been called. So good defense there from Morocco. A good little spell this from the African Giants. Five fifty-five remaining. Four minutes, five seconds played here in this third period. As Matui actually couldn't pick up the ball there, but he gives it up to Zoué Shalat. Shalat looking to create something. Filipe. Filipe has a bit of room. Gets the friendly roll. <laughs> Offensive foul has been called again. So Morocco will get the ball back. As said, a good little spell this from Morocco. Just need to convert some of this into points. But they forced a few errors here out of Germany. Shalat. Filipe has it. Only has one thing on his mind, but it's long. Jens Eike Albrecht. Albrecht is in a bit of trouble here. He's got to kick it out. That's an eight-second violation. Another turnover for Germany. And again, good pestering defense from Morocco. They might be trailing by a large margin, but Morocco really aiming to frustrate Germany as much as they can. Shalat. They need him to get going. He's on eight points right now. Filipe from the foul line. And agonizingly drops out. Here is Kunzner. Hell couldn't hang on to it. Glossner couldn't reach it either. And another turnover for Germany. Four turnovers in around a minute and 30 seconds here. As Thomas Ria, the rookie, comes up with it. He's looking to shine on the world stage. Gets it back, puts it up. Doesn't get the drop. Gets his own rebound, though. There's a battle under the basket. And finally, Morocco come up with it. Shellat and a foul call. That's an offensive foul. Matui going into the back of Thomas Ria. Thomas Ria appearing in his first senior international tournament for Germany and 
As a, a nice little introduction to the international stage, he's been forced to wear a silly foam hat wherever he goes across Antibes. These German players sure know how to welcome a newcomer to their uh, national ranks. Nico Dreimuller, Albrecht to Dreimuller again from the wing. Inside it goes and the finish from Ria. And that was met with huge applause, not just from the German fans, but the German bench as well. Shalat, Matui, 3.41 remaining in the third. And that pass wayward, and that will go straight out of bounds. My apologies, the last Germany score was from Julian Lammering. My apologies. Julian Lammering, a young and upcoming player. He made his debut for Germany last summer at the World Championships in Dubai. A great prospect, the German number 18. Dreimuller looks to slow it down. There's seven on the shot clock for Germany as Albrecht has it. Dreimuller in all kinds of space, puts it up and it's in and out. And Felipe gets the rebound. Felipe only his second rebound of the day as a foul has been called, a hard foul as well. Germany in the penalty now, so... Zuer Shalat will go to the foul line. As we see the replays, Shalat driving to the hoop and Dreimuller. That's a hard foul, but Zuer Shalat made of stern stuff. As a timeout has been called on the floor, 60 to 22 in favor of Germany. 3.11 remaining in the third. Great to have you all on board today, wherever you are across the globe. Don't forget to follow the IWBF on all your social media platforms and get involved using the hashtag last chance for Paris and it certainly is the last chance for Paris for these teams. As the USA, Great Britain, Spain and Australia await the remaining four teams from this repechage tournament. And of course, the action in the uh, repechage doesn't stop there. On the 17th of April is the beginning of the women's repechage in Osaka, Japan. First game of the day will be Algeria against Australia. And all the action will be on the IWBF YouTube channel coming to you from the Far East. What a few early mornings watching the best in women's wheelchair basketball. As Shalat makes the first and strings the second. Thomas Ria. Pressure defense here from Morocco, as said, looking to frustrate the Germans at every opportunity here. And another foul has been called. That's on Belhaman Lakab. And a warning has been given to, to Shalat and to the the Moroccan bench and the Morocco <laughs> assistant coach is uh, a bit animated on who that, that warning was for. Albak Al Hadawi, the assistant coach for Morocco. Here is Ria. Dreimula. Albrecht. Albrecht puts up a two, and that's off to the left. And 
Here comes Shalat. Shalat puts on the brakes, resets. Almost lost the handle. Shalat has a bit of room to put up the shot. That's short. And Albrecht with the rebound. And here is Ria. And another foul has been called. Julian Lammering on the floor. Both teams now in the penalty. So Germany will head to the foul line with 2.28 remaining here in the third. Julian Lammering with a field goal to his name as Jens Eicher Albrecht and Tobias Hell come out. Jan Sadler and Lukas Glosner come in. Germany 10 of 13 from the foul line yesterday in their 70 to 56 win over Colombia. Of course, Colombia lost their second game of the day in the first game here of day two against Italy. The Netherlands getting a win over Iran. So, so far it's six straight wins for the European nations here at the Repschage. Germany on course to make it a hat trick on day two. And seven straight wins overall. Shalat. Shalat's pass really had to be collected by El Masati. El Masati with five to shoot, puts it up. And that looked good from where we were on the commentary booth, but the back iron said no, no, no. Here is Dreimula. Across the rear. Dreimuller gets it back. Dreimuller puts it up, goes glass, no good. Big rebound inside from Sadler. Germany still have it, it's out of bounds. And it, Morocco will get possession with 146 remaining here in the third. Al Masati to Shalat. As Mohamed Al Amori into the game for the first time in the first three for Morocco, knocked down by who else? Zouer Shalat. Four three pointers in total for Morocco in this rep charge, and Shalat has all of them. Ria blocked by Al Masati. Germany still have possession with Dreimuller. Lammering, catch and shoot, that's short, and the rebound collected by Morocco. Matui with that rebound. Here is Shalat again. Matui has it back. Shalat has it back. Eight on the shot clock for Morocco. Long two, and it's short from Shalat. And Ria, two on one here. Ria will slow it down. Smart play from Thomas Ria. And Lammering is fouled. Jan Sadler, I thought, was also fouled as he was passing the ball. But Julian Lammering will return to the foul line for Germany. Lammering just the one field goal thus far. Perfect from the charity stripe, two and two. As the commentator's curse has hit me here at the Azure Arena. Much to the delight of the guy sitting next to me, Dylan Cummings. <laughs> Shalat. Final 20 seconds of the third. Morocco have fared a little better in this third period. Germany have only taken an 11 to 9 lead in this third period. Lamining final seconds of the third. Lamering all the time in the world on the buzzer. And for all of Morocco's positivity in that third quarter, they give away a cheap basket, it must be said, to Julian Lamering. 
And as a result, Germany lead Morocco 64 to 27 after three quarters of play. As Alex Buda has 17 points, Alex Alowski has 14. Madas Gutzna has 11, three players in double figures for the Germans. Zuer Shalat, the only player in double figures for Morocco, he has 13. Mokhtar Al Hashawi has two, Bargo has four. In fact, three players are on four points. Mohamed Bargo, Rida Matui, and the veteran Asa Falempe. As we check out the highlights of the third period, Matas Gunzner there inside. But despite trailing big, this has been a good third period for Morocco. They only lost it 13 to nine. And playing with, it almost feels like nothing to lose as we see Shalat with the big three there, all net for Zuer Shalat. But Germany still in pole position here at the Azure Arena in the uh, Repcharge tournament, the last chance for Paris. The Paris. 2024 Paralympic Games taking place over 12 days of fast and furious action. 104 days until the Olympic Games begins. As Shalat has it. Aberville. Aberville will put it up, and it's short to be as hell with the rebound. As Germany now looking to put this game and end it quickly, Lammering has it. Sadler, Sadler will go for three, and it's long as Almasati gets the rebound, and Shalat has it again. He was thinking about the three there for a second, instead puts up a long two and strings one. Shalat, five of 16 from the field. Inside, Albrecht, and nearly the and one opportunity, Aberville the foul. Morocco fans still in great voice and it's great to see the Morocco fans, so many young Morocco fans here waving the flag, you know, showing great patriotism and just having some fun and that's what being a supporter is all about. You want your team to win, obviously. But enjoying yourself and living in the moment is the best thing when you're a supporter. As Olbrecht makes the second. As mentioned, the last chance for Paris for the Paralympics. Tournament starting on August the 28th, running through to September 8th. It'll be a fast and furious 12 days in Paris, and of course, the Paralympic wheelchair basketball tournament taking place at the Accor Hotel Arena in the Bercy district of Paris. And a foul at mid-court. And referees just want to confirm something here. Zhang Jing, Matthias Quintana, and Patricia Caballero are officials today. Early doors here in the fourth period. Shalat 
Shalat. Shalat three, that's long this time. Abbeville gets the rebound, Shalat gets it back. Shalat putting the moves on Lammering. Glides his way through and travels with it. Albrecht, Lammering. Lammering sees a bit of room inside, but passes it straight to Mathieu, and now Shalat in transition. It's all alone, and he gets it to fall. And a quick timeout has been called by Michael Engel. Just wants to calm his players down. As Zuer Shalat now moves on to 17 points. Morocco, who didn't really get a lot of joy in the uh, transition game against Italy. They didn't start the game too bad. They uh, got a few baskets in the first early stages of the first period, but then as the second quarter wore on, Italy just got stronger and stronger. And today, Germany hit out the gates running and an early 10-0 start. Kind of told the story of how this game has gone, but Morocco have stayed true to themselves. They've competed, they've done their fans proud here in Antibes. And if anything, Morocco's fans will probably get the tag of best supporters in this lap charge tournament, but all the supporters from all the nations have been absolutely superb. The hospitality has been phenomenal. The volunteers have been incredibly welcoming. It's been a fantastically organized lap charge tournament and still a lot of basketball yet to come. Hala, Ria. Ria from the elbow, thinks about it, puts it up, back eye and it goes. Jan Halla has it again. He was thinking about the shot. Shalat for company, Halla will dump it off to Sadler. Sadler, Halla, four on the shot clock, Halla a two. And Ria the rebound. Germany had 18 offensive rebounds yesterday against Colombia and they're pumping those numbers up still as Shalak couldn't keep it in play. Right in front of one of the Morocco team delegates sitting next to us on the commentary booth. Sadler, four to shoot, Ria, a long three, and that's no good. And Matui with the rebound. Shalat. Shalat, why not just go for the shot? And Sadler collects the loose change. Here is Hala. Hala nearly fouled there by Shalat. Referee's doing a good job to let the game flow. Hala, bit of room, but he passes it straight to Matui. And now in transition, it's Zue Shalat against Alex Buddha, and he blows the layup. Rebounded by Sadler. Sadler now has eight rebounds in this game off the bench. Buddha off the glass. 19 for Alex Buddha. He also has six rebounds and two steals in this one. Shalat almost thought about a three again there as Ria greets him and nearly steals it off him as well. Matui puts up the two and gets it to go. A lot of experience on this Morocco team. Their average age is 38 years. So it just shows you the depth, the level of experience this team has. As Buddha goes inside, Whistle has gone before the shot.
5.24 remaining. Following on from this game, the host nation France will take on Canada. That tips off at 6 p.m. local time. As Buddha goes inside and a foul there from Fahad Al Mossati, who is on the floor and will be helped up by his teammate Sharaf Abbeville. A mixture of Abbeville and Rida Matui. Germany yet to trouble the foul count in this fourth period as Morocco nearing at team fouls. As Felipe comes back into the game for Morocco. Buda misses the first foul shot. Germany thus far, five of 11 from the stripe. Make that five of 12. Shalat. Again, thought about the three and Sadler wise to that. Shalat now drives along the baseline. Filipe. Ratui puts up the two, that's in and out. And Ria the rebound. Thomas Ria seeing some good minutes here. Three rebounds and a steal for him thus far. Zero of four though from the field. Ria looking for his first field goal. Now he's 0 of five. Good to get those shots up though. Gain some confidence. 4.34 remaining as a three is up and that whacks the bottom of the backboard for Shalat. And here is Hala, Buda, Sadla. Sadla bumped, but he still has the ball. Hala inside, Sadla, beautiful basketball from Germany. Great passing, great awareness of where the uh, teammate was. And a timeout call by Morocco, 69-33, 4-16, remaining here in the Azure Arena. As Morocco looking to finish strong as a contest, the game is all but effectively over. As you can see, just in the top right hand screen now, the camera is panning away. The Morocco fans still having some fun. They might be trailing, but they are just here for the experience. They're here to have a good time, these Moroccan fans. Obviously, the team are here for business. They're here to fight for a spot in Paris, but looking likely to drop to 0-2 after this game is said and done. As Philippe gets us underway with 4.12 remaining. Philippe driving to the hoop, almost had an open lane there. Goes Glass, gets it to go. Probably one of the easiest scores. Asa Felipe will get today. Hala. Hala passes off to Ria. Ria to Lammering from the elbow. And Matui the rebound. Inside to Felipe off balance, just about collects and misses, agonizingly misses Hala with the rebound. Jan Haller now, well, that's his first rebound of the day. Only has three assists to his credit, but doing a lot of the things that you don't normally see on the statistics. Very smart veteran basketball player, Jan Haller. And another timeout has been called, this time by Michael Engel. 3.32 remaining here in our third game of the day. 
Horse following on from this clash, as mentioned, France taking on Canada. French team were here early on this lunchtime, having some fun watching the games and just enjoying the atmosphere in the uh, arena, both inside and out. And they will take to the floor at 6 p.m. local time here on the IWBF YouTube channel. Great to see so many comments. There's a lot of debate going on on the feed, which is great to see. It's certainly fantastic and great to have you all on board here today. 3.27 remaining. Ria. Sadla to Hala. Hala a two, money. First field goal of the day for Jan Hala after missing his first three. Shalak finds a bit of room inside, too strong with the layup. Ria. Ria spins, gets it to Lammering. Lammering, that's smart, he'll get two shots. Julian Lammering. A young and up and coming player using some veteran knowledge there. And now as a result, he'll get two shots. He has six points right now, two of four though from the stripe. Take that three of five. 257 remaining Germany on course for a, a big win and Julian Lammering knew instantly that was uh, going nowhere but out of bounds that free throw but he could afford a smile and why not Germany are up 72 35 right now shooting just over 53 percent from the field in this game 69 percent at the half so their percentage has dropped quite a bit but in honesty, the game was over as a contest by half time. But Morocco, to their credit, have stuck to their guns. They've fought, they've battled. And they are not the African champions for nothing. Shalat, Matui. Matui at two. And the rebound by Hell. Ria. Thomas Ria still looking for his first field goal. Hala inside, Lammering, and nearly the three-point play, but instead he'll return to the foul line. Germany, as mentioned earlier, were 10 of 13 from the free throw line against Colombia. They haven't fared too well, though, today in this one. They're six of 14 from uh, the free throw line today. However, when you're shooting 53%, I suppose it's no harm done, but if there's one thing Michael Engel will be looking for his team to improve on in their next game, it'll be free throw shooting. They will be the last game of day, th uh, day three, excuse me, tomorrow. They will be playing Italy in an enticing all-European encounter. Rea. Lammering gets it back, shot clock winding down and it agonizingly drops out, going window. Julian Lammering, but to no success. Shalat. Shalat bumped, gives it off to Felipe and Felipe gets the friendly bowl. Final two minutes or nearing the final two minutes here in this one and a wayward inbound pass, but Jan Sadler will pick up the loose ball. Here is Lammering. Ria, Sadler, that's a risky pass and Felipe collects it. Shalat. And another shot coming in again from Matui and Matui off with his two-pointer here is Hell. Hell bumped by Shalat and stolen away by him by Felipe. 
Felipe going to the hoop, but will decide to reset, and the pass deflected still finds Matui. And Matui has his pass blocked away, and Ria is fouled as Jan Sadler was going to the hoop. Final minute here in this one. It's been a another tough day at the office for Morocco, trailing from start to finish as Germany improve to 2 and 0 oh here at the 2024 IWBF Men's Repcharge Tournament. Still a lot of basketball to come, though, in the next few days as the action gets a little more intense, a little more on the important side. The ticket to Paris is up for grabs. Who will join Great Britain, the USA, Spain and Australia? Of course, starting on the 17th, it's the women's rep charge in Osaka, Japan. As Germany, Thailand, Australia and Algeria comprise Group A. Spain, France, Canada and Japan are homed in Group B. As Matui with the finish under the basket. And the teams already qualified in the women's side. The Netherlands, Great Britain, USA and China, the Netherlands the reigning Paralympic world and European champions looking to defend their coveted gold medal in Paris as we enter the final 34 seconds of this one. Lammering misses the two, gets his own rebound. Nine to shoot for Jan Halla. And it's stolen away from Zua Shalat and Shalat is all alone. This should be two points. Oh, he's blown the layup. Matui collects the offensive rebound and puts it in on the follow. So Morocco get their two points. Jan Halla, a bit of frustration there, but it's academic really as Jan Sattler will go for two, miss it. Lamering will go himself and get it to go, so that will count. And that ends a dominant victory for Germany, it must be said. They have emerged 77 to 42 victors here today. Three players in double figures led by Alex Buda, who had 19 points, seven rebounds and two steals. Madas Gunzner with 11 points and two rebounds. Two rebounds shy of a double-double. Alex Halowski, who shot 50% yesterday from the field, did just a little better today. Seven of 10, 70% from the field. Two of those, though, were missed from three-point land. You can chuck in seven rebounds and three assists for good measure. And Playing some great minutes today, Julian Lammering had 10 points and four rebounds in just over 10 minutes of action. And also great to see Thomas Ria getting some great minutes. He had four rebounds and two points. Those two points coming from the foul line. Great to see him on the stat sheet today. For Morocco, they were led by Zuez Shalat, who had 18 points. Rida Matui had 10 points. And the veteran, Asa Falempe, had eight. But a tough day for Morocco. They dropped to 0 and 2 as Germany improved to 2 and 0. As we see the highlights as what has been a good day at the office for Germany as they agonizingly missed out on Paralympic qualification via the Euros. They finished fourth in the end, losing the semi-final agonizingly to Great Britain. But on course to book a spot in Paris via the Repcharge tournament. They have emerged 77-42 winners. I've been John Hobbs. It's been great being in your company today. 
Have a pleasant day. Enjoy France against Canada, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye for now. Ensemble, faisons briller les Jeux de Paris 2024.